today on Freedom Friday, we're going to be creating an Insta website using Milkshake. So all you have to do is download the app on your phone and then access it from there. And if you've never used Milkshake before, you'll add a new account. You're going to sign up with whatever email address you want, and you're going to create a password after that. It's a little different than how Milkshake um, started out before when they just... Um, had you link it to your Instagram account. Now, when you sign up with Milkshake, um, you'll be creating a login. So using your email and your password. So you just type that in and hit continue on the app. And then you also see the different options. You can sign up with Facebook or sign in or sign up with Apple as well. Then you're gonna create your link. So this is only, only one time y'all, y'all got one chance. <laughs> to do this so whatever you make it it's that for life if not you got to change it up uh, if you want to change it up you got to create a whole new one so think about what you want your url to be before you actually do this okay so then you type in your url and you create it right there so now it's going to come up in your listing of accounts um, here you'll be able to add your first card and as you can see here there's tons of different cards that you can use um, we're going to start off um, with using the about card because we want people to know who this particular person is before they get into the links so we click on about and as you can see there are so many different kinds of templates that are made available to you here in milkshake um, so I'm gonna test this one out and see how it looks um, and see if we have this flow um, that we like right the good thing is you can change it up if you want to so that's the good part about it so as you can see still there are tons and tons and tons of them that I can choose from but this one it seems kind of fun so we're gonna pick it when you come in here, um, you'll see that you'll be able to change the card heading, the subheading, as well as the card description. Um, and you'll be able to change that and then add whatever photographs that you want to add. So instead of boring you with this part, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit from here. So from here, you're probably gonna see that I'm gonna go into my client's Trello board and grab their about me details so I can just simply copy it and paste it over into the card description. It makes it really simple because if you're doing this from your phone, you wanna be able to have access to the information fairly quickly. So I just add that information into the Trello board. Then I also go back into the Trello board and grab the photograph that I need to add to the um, milkshake as well. So it makes everything really simple <laughs> and really easy. So you just go choose from your photos, grab that photo from there and add it right there. Now, now that you have everything that you need, you hit preview and this allows you to see what that card is going to look like um, once you add all the things that you wanna add to it. So. As you can see here from what I typed in, there's the header, there's the subheader, and then there's the photograph right there. Now that we have everything in place, we wanna customize the car. We want to use the uh, client's brand color. So I'm gonna take out um, what's there and then I'm gonna add in her particular brand colors. Now, the good thing about this is that as I shift from different cars and styles that I like, those same colors stay with me so i don't have to worry about entering it in all over again so as you can see in this example i'm going to um, go through and view it and see how i like it and then make some edits to it so as you can see right here um, i'm going to be adding in the other color which is black um and that one i really didn't need to put in the code in the code i can just go right to um 
the color wheel and change it right there. The good part about it is that you can also change fonts. I'm sorry y'all, we can't upload fonts just yet. And I'm gonna say just yet, but you can switch out between the different fonts that they have in here and you can change that for the card heading as well as the subheading um in here as well so that's an awesome feature to be able to have is to go ahead and change out some of the um, fonts and the colors and i really like um, the fact that you can do that and you also can do it for the card description i'm sorry you can do it for all three um and so you want to make sure that you're kind of being consistent throughout each card and this allows you to do that so the customization in milkshake is pretty good i'll be happy when we can upload our own fonts i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna be happy so remember i told you that you can hit that shake it up button and you can go through all of the different looks where well, here it is i just hit shake it up and i'm able to go through each of the different cards to see what that look would look like so let's just say i did the first card and i wasn't too fond of it like i liked it but i ain't necessarily love it i can hit shake it up and i can go through the different cards to see how that would look um and so and that's what I'm doing here in this example. It's just kind of going through and seeing if there's another card that stands out to me that I like better than the others, um, which I think is a really good option. And then whatever card that you originally have, you can go back to it and you don't lose whatever um, updates that you made to it. So like those original boards where, I mean, original cards where I changed the colors and things like that, I can go back to it and still have that. Um, so, you don't have to worry about losing any of your work. And you'll see in this example here, those same colors that I initially have put in there are still there. So I'm playing around with this particular card template and changing up the colors and see how I like the colors in there um, and making those particular updates on that, on that card. So once you're ready and you like everything, you're gonna hit publish and then it's gonna take you right here to the publishing screen. And once everything is done, you are wanna get the confetti. Now you can instantly add this link to your bio on Instagram. Um, and once you click on share on Instagram, it shows you the link. And then once you click on that, it'll say open Instagram or even open TikTok for that matter. And you can add it right there. Um, but because we're not ready, we want to add another card. So we're going to hit add card. And so because we want to add a links card, that's the one we're going to share. But as you can see, you can do a YouTube page, a splash page, a top picks page. But for this example, we're going to be doing the links page. Now, I didn't want to bore you with going through every single card, so I wanted to still at least give you an opportunity to see the end result. And so here are all of the different cards I was able to add um, for this particular client. Now, once you've added a card and you click on the three dots, then you'll be able to pull up this um, access menu where you can edit, customize, view your insights, preview the card, share the card, and even reorder it or delete the card if you choose to. So all of these options are available for each individual card. Now, if you have multiple accounts that you manage, you can go into the switch accounts um, icon. Um, but with, and when you go through there, you're able to go in between the different accounts and update um, and manage each of your milkshake accounts from there. But what I really want to show you is how this looks. So when I click on the link from the mobile view, this is how it looks. Now you can also do this from a desktop view so you can view it from both desktop and the other I am from your mobile. Um, but this is just a glimpse of going through all of the different cards that I added for her. Um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Again, if as always, if you have any questions, list them down in the comments or reach out to me directly.